Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. for us this day. We've got a premier quarterback facing off against a potent defensive backfield. That's absolutely right, Jim. Morgan is a pocket passing quarterback. His mobility is so great. He's in the pocket and he's a strong off the stretch of the field. He's going to have his work cut out for him today, though. The Colts have some quarterbacks with excellent coverage skills. They don't bite on weak fakes, so the pass had better be right on target if you plan to throw on. Let me tell you, this is going to be a battle. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. kickoff. Number 23 catches it back at the 2. Dodges a tackle tackled at the 25. A nice day for football and ESPN Susie Culber will tell us if it will stay that way. Susie? Thanks Dan. It's a slightly breezy day today but it probably isn't enough to affect kicks or throws that much. Let's send it back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. Cowboys will start this first play of the drive with their own 25-yard line. Thomas chews up nine yards, and that brings up second down. Thomas sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what second to try next. Chances. Gets the call again and gets well past the markers for the first. Thomas got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. White blocking up front. Nice second down call and they remove the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down for the arm. sounds in the game for an offense. Morton throws a and the completion is good for six. Rucker easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and three. Ball on the 36 yard line. Interceptor. One man to beat. No one in front of him. And touchdown. touchdown. Logan picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. He gets the TD and a little congratulations from his teammate. It's well deserved, Dan. Number 80 to attempt the extra point. point. Number 15, hold holding. 
Here's the extra point, and it's good. Number 80, Number 80 kicking, kicking off, off the Colts. Colts. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 80, booms a beauty here. Number 23, decides to take it out of the end zone. Drag down at the 22. Number 23, took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Cowboys were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Horton puts his arm into this one, and the reception's made at the 38. Finally, Bob at the 40. That will bring up first down. Horton is loaded for the pass back there, and it's the two defenders at the end of the ball play. Line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. And is well past the markers for a first down. Rucker makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made in the triple coverage. It worked. Yes, it did. And he Banging heads there. Morton rifles it out the side and the reception's made at the 39. Tackled at the 38. Hayes had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. They move the ball and it will be second down. Get your hands up! Second and four. Ball ball 38 yard line. Rucker goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Rucker looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure he is. Third down, four yards to go. Morton throws a bullet and it's off incomplete, incomplete. With the deflection. Way to put you lose. Oh, baby. Number 10 lines Number 10, up for the punt. punt formation. Number 28 to make the return. return. <laughs> Number 10 takes the long snap and names this one for the corner. This will pin them deep as it flies out of bounds at the six. Number 10 angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The Colts find themselves in dangerous territory and will start this one way back at their own seven-yard line. Number 40 gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Is well past the markers for a first down. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Jordan tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Third down, one man down. Oh! 
Number 15. They get the first on third and long. for the third time and gains about three yards. Second and Number 15, rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 47. This one at the 47-yard line. Thomas picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Thomas used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Morton throws a big high lob. He's an Exodus running. Put it down at the 10. It will be first down. Swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. Second down with the tight end right. Rucker goes in motion. Thomas gains three yards, and that brings up third down. Number 32, 32 with the tackle. Tack. All we can practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? We almost got him, baby. Says Third and six. six. Ball at the Oh, well, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. To play on this one and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 12. Clark with a 24 yarder, and it's good. Clark has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Number eight, three, three, three. Kicking kicking off off the, the ref gets the signal, and we're set. Clark rockets this one deep. Number 28 downs this in the end zone for a touchback.
The Colts had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 20-yard line. Number 15 throws a beauty to the right side, and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. Jefferson had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. It's a good call. That'll bring up second down. The play. Three, Jefferson three, made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. That was little atonement for dropping the ball the last time it was thrown his way, Peter. He definitely made sure that he held on to that one. Yeah, much better focus that time around. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 40 picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up first down. First down, down four, four. Number 40 gets the call again and picks up a couple. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second and nine. Ball on the hook. 33 yard line. Number 15 throws a bullet to the flat and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 15 has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 38 yards and one interception. Third down. Third down. Nine yards to go. It's intercepted. Stop at the 34. Goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Okay, guys, we've covered this before. You know the plan, you know what to do. Stick to the plan. Second down, Second three wideouts in the game. Ball to 19. Morton throws a bullet to the flat and it falls incomplete. Jordan had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calver has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. After talking with the trainers, I found out that he's hyperextended his shoulder. They're icing it a bit right now. 
but it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. Third and ten. ten. Ball to 19. Catches it over the middle, and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. Hold it. Number 83. Defense. Five-yard yard penalty. penalty. Automatic, Automatic first down. down. Hendricks tries to contain his man on this play and ends up holding him. That's going to draw a flag. Let's watch. Oh, yeah. Easy call. Defensive holder. First and 10. Watch the Ball to 14 yard line. Hayes goes in motion. Morton sinks it to the left sideline. And it's caught just barely past the markers for the If they pass the ball here, watch him to gun it for his favorite receiver. Number 33, the ball carrier. Number 83 with the tackle. Second and goal. Ball at the three. Number 32 goes in motion. He's in for the touchdown. Kicks this one away. Number 27 fields the kickoff at the one. Locked down at the 21. Number 27 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. Yeah. Good work out there, All right, man. All right, yeah. The Colts offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 21 yard line. Tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Edwards was a one man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably jump a bowling ball for wide receivers for that. Number 40 will get the carry on second down and gets the field. Finally popped out of bounds at the 32. First down. First down, First down. Cole, Cole. Jordan eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past the marker. That one's going to hurt. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. First down, tight end to the left. Ball, 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 32 yard. Number 15, made the 
throw that was off target there. Incomplete. Number 15 has had difficulties to say the least. And now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far he struggled to get 38 yards and two interceptions. Second and 10. Ball to the hook. 32 yard yard. Number 15. This one over the middle and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down, one man down. Ball to the 46 yard line. The Colts take their first time out. Second and one. Ball at the 46 yard line. Number 15 throws this on a rope. The Colts will take a time out. That's their second. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Number 33 lands the rope right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 15 throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. Not only Shanghai has the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. React, make the catch, and then get some yards to boot. And coach them. That's their third interception of the game. And here, the D is holding in on the passing game. A tough play. I love it. The Cowboys are looking for some separation before half. And will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Call on first down and picks up a couple. Thomas used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Morton really right with this pass. Cowboys take their first time out. The 46. Yeah. Number 21 gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Changing whether the passer threw the ball after crossing the line of scrimmage. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. When we watch this, Dan, let's see if he was past the line when he threw the ball. Watch as he releases the ball. He lets it go, and I think he's past the line. I'd overrule this one. After, After review, review, the play, the play has been has ruled, ruled an illegal, illegal forward, forward pass, pass past, past the line, the line of scrimmage. scrimmage. Results, Results in loss, in loss of, down of down and a five-yard five penalty, penalty from spot, spot pass. pass. Second, Second down. down. He yeah. likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along.
Second down, 15. Ball to Calvin's 43 yard line. Cowboys will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Morton angles it out left side and gets caught despite a wicked hit to try and jar the ball loose. The Cowboys don't like what they're looking at and take their final timeout. Face mask, number, number 76, 76. Offense. offense. Five yard, Five -yard penalty, penalty from the spot, the spot of the foul. Repeat, Repeat first, first down. down. The Colts have had some problems sustaining drives. We'll see what they can do here as they start at their own 23 yard line. Number 40 takes the handoff and gets past the line. Stopped at the 27. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Cowboys with a small lead, 10 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Cowboys should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 20 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off touchdown for the Colts. The Colts get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The boys, midway through the first, the ball at their own 21. Number 14 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Colts, towards the end of the first quarter, Colts ahead by seven. Number 20 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The boys end of the first quarter. Number 14 is back to throw this time. And he's going to look for his big old tight end. He finds him for a big gain here. That set up a short 25-yard field goal. Cowboys losing 7-3. Number 41 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The boys midway through the second. The Cowboys with the ball at the four yard line. Number 33 got the carry here and he comes through. A three yard touchdown for the Cowboys. The Colts late into the second quarter. Colts losing by three. Number 26 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The boys have it off an interception. Number 25 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys are holding on to a lead 10 to 7. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Number 20 has taken over this game. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Colts will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 10 to seven. Let's get down to the field and the action. 
Clark kicks it off to begin the second half. Number 28 bounds this in the end zone for a touchback. The Colts bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 15 just rifles this one, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number 28 had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 40 goes in motion. Number 88 didn't hold that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 15 is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 95 yards and three interceptions. Number 15 zips it to the left sideline, and this one is incomplete. Number 28 looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Waters did a brilliant job keeping watch over his zone. That pass didn't have a chance. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Lee gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Rucker takes it at the 17. Right down at the 32. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turn the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. Rucker returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Cowboys send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 32-yard line. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Number 19 had that ball in his hands on that play, and he just dropped it. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces your way, and sometimes it... Uh, it doesn't. Exactly. Morton rifles it out left side, and the reception is made at the 36, tackled at the 41. Morton made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Third down and less than a yard. Okay, bring them out. Bring him out. We got the chains. No first, baby. No first. No first, baby. No first. Yeah, baby. That's how we get it. First and ten. ten. Ball to the elbows. 42 yard mark. Thomas has his number called on first down and number gains about three yards. Players. Number 74 with the tackle. Tack. Don't even think about winning the Second ball or not. 
Ball to Cowboys, 45 yard yard. Hayes goes in motion. Thomas picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Third down, one man down. Morton unloads this one the left, and the reception's made at the 37, eventually tackled at the 34. It will be first down. Record and superb catch, even though he had three guys going to him. What a play. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been incomplete. He's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Number 52 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 52 knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Chews up Number four yards, and that will bring up third down. Number 20, Number 20 with the with tackle. tackle. Do third down, season. and this will be the eighth Ball play of the drive. Thomas bruises out to the left side, and he gets tackled short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Hendricks made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Clark with the 43-yard attempt, and it's up through the goal post. Good. Clark sends it losing between the goal posts for a field goal. Straight down the pike. Number 83, kicking off for the Cowboys. There's the signal, and we're ready. Clark kicks it off. Number 27, fields it all the way back to the two. Right down at the 23. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. Number 27, got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Whoa, look at all the interceptions there. up about two and that will bring up second down like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Number 83 to attempt the extra point. point. Number 12, hold, hold. Here's the point after, and it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. 
Clark booms a beauty here. Number 28 decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 17. Number 28 decided not to down it, but couldn't even make it to the 20, which may affect his Christmas gift from his special teams coach. The Colts have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 17-yard line. Brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball on the hook for 20 yard line. Number four takes it for his 11th carry and will lose about a yard here. Number 54 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Peter. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Number 15 throws a heater right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Waters came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Lee lines up to punt after the three and out. Lee gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Rucker fields the deep punt at the 33. Dragged down the 43. Rucker returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. First Cowboys will start this drive at their 43-yard line. Thomas picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. They're icing it a bit right now but it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Hayes didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Hayes was so wide open on That's that last play. Third, what a shame he didn't catch the ball. That's got to hurt. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Cowboys enjoying the lead 20-7. Morton rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Rucker has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about sticking your turn. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Okay, not like any receiver is willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. This one will fall incomplete. Rucker looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow, it's not often you see him out of sync like this. Second down, 10 yards to go. Morton fires this one over the middle and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Morton made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident in the where all the traffic is. Daring the D to stop it. Thomas takes the handoff and heads left. Stop at the 20. And 
Hayes goes in motion. Horton makes the pass and it's tipped. No good. Incomplete. Curtis swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Thomas loses one on the play, and that brings up fourth down. Smith not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Clark kicks from 38 yards out and puts it straight through the uprights and good. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Clark sends it losing between the goalposts for a field goal straight down the pike. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense at all. Right. Sorry. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Clark kicks this one away. Number 27 fields this one deep at the one. Drag down the 20. It looks like uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You alright? You alright? You The Colts haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Number 15 throws a bullet, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 33 is the intended receiver. Number 20 with the coach. Number 15 has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he struggled to get 95 yards and no touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball on the hook, 20 yard Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 15. He's really rolling the dice there by throwing into double coverage. You know, they might have picked him off there. It has been a long, long time since he's thrown a completion. He can't buy a pass out there. This is not looking good, Dan. I'm not sure what the coach is going to do here. Number 15 throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 26 came in and got a hand on that football. And left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Makes the catch on the right sideline, and they somehow get the first off a big fourth and long. Number 15. It the left side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number 26 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 26 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Number 
number 15. Airs this one to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 20 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Bring up fourth down. Number 15 zips it to the left sideline and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. The Cowboys are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at their 46-yard line. Thomas will get the carry on first down and takes it upfield. Tackled at the 49. Thomas is taking it up the middle and battling that defense head on. And you know what, Dan? He's winning that battle. Look at the numbers here. So far, he's got 51 yards on 16 carries. Number 32 goes in motion. Thomas gets past the line and chews up about four on the play. Number 27 was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culver has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I just talked to the trainers, and they said that he tore his bicep. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Susie. Seven goes in motion. Thomas take their first time out. First down, both tight ends left. Take a timeout. That's their second. Bro, bro, bro. Second, second and five. five. Ball, Ball 35. 35. I got down. Down. Motion. 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 Third down, one man down. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Logan targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got nine tackles. Number 10 lines up for the punt. Number 28 to make the return.
Number 10 takes the snap and punts it away. The Colts will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.03. Number 15, uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped, incomplete. Washington came in and got a hand on that football, and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Second down, the clock is stopped at one minute. Number 36, catches it in the flat, and that will stop the clock. Number 36, got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, seven yards to go. Number 15 gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's complete at the 24. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. First down. Number 15 spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Number 15 fires this one over the middle and it's intercepted. This one go, which is why it sings right into the defender's reach. We should get that one back. Another throw that was picked off, and this game is turning into a nightmare for him. Well, he better wake up. And that is going to That's do it right for here, this right. one. The Cowboys come out on top, 23-7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye. Until next time. And great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Cowboys stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. After driving 42 yards on nine plays, number 83 is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals three points. A 44-yard field goal. Number 54 was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off, but he wasn't done there. Touchdown for the Cowboys. Cowboys up by 13. Number 83 would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. They're now up by 16. Number 15 would find his target on this one. Colts behind, 23 to seven. Number 87 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys win this one 23 to seven.
Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Number 33 is on the field with our Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really came up big, and you prevailed with a big victory. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Frankly, I thought we really performed well on offense. We ran our plays cleanly, and everybody did their part. We managed to rack up yards and points as a result. All in all, it was a pretty good game for us. Back to you, Chris. Get your hand off my penis!